We're in the small town of Camp, which means hollow. You can see how very lovely I look. Fortunately, all the wet things are downstairs drying. It's miserable out there. But we made it to, through up and over styles. Hopefully tomorrow the weather will be nicer and you can watch us climbing over a million styles, which are really sort of fun. I don't know if you can see what it looks like out there. That is the wild Atlantic. You really have to expect bad weather in Ireland because all the weather comes from across the Atlantic and hits the coast that we're on, the Atlantic coast, first. <laughs> I can't help it. One of my favorite parts of walking in Ireland, beside the styles, which I'll video, are the sheep. And then I go to my rendition of, we are poor little lambs who have lost their way. Ba 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 ba. I got an answer. I got a response back there. <laughs> that is Inch Beach down there. I don't know if it's important or not, but we are still on the trail. Signs like that always bring terror to my heart, but we're not going that way. We're almost there. The village of Anaskol is below us. Way down there. I think I'm getting too old for this. Our hostess at the B&B is driving us to Leospol or how or Lispol, something like that. And then we'll walk to Dingle, where we're in Dingle for two nights. Just follow the little walking man. We're at Garfany Bridge. It says a rare survival of a medieval stone bridge was built using clay to, to bond the stone, Span, bands the mountain stream. The bridge, like many buildings on the Dingle Peninsula, is built entirely without mortar. Unbelievable, the bridge may have been standing in 1580. As you may be able to see, those are not little gnats coming down. It's been raining since we started out. When we woke up this morning, the sun was actually out, which lasted a whopping five minutes. Put on the old rain pants, rain jackets, and here we go on our way to Dingle. And here we are, Dingle. Yay! We've got a sheep block here. Who's going to move off the trail first? Bah! Talk to me, sheep. Talk to me. Bah! Cute little baby. Hello, baby sheep. We have some old beehive style huts down here. This is only the second style for the day, thank goodness. You go up forward and then you go back down just like a ladder. It's been a very long morning um, because we've contoured up and around and over hills and through bushes, past sheep. But I'm hoping we're almost there. It's a miracle. It only rained on us for 10 minutes so far today. Big plus. And Steve is going to give me the camera. It's still running. Oh, oh, oh you stepped right it in it. Broke my you neck. stepped right in it. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you hear me screaming? That's because Steve stepped smack right in the in middle it. of sheep, you know what. Anyhow, out there are the Blasket Island. Great Blasket Island has been abandoned since 1953 when the last of the people emigrated either to the mainland or headed for America. There are boat tours that go around it and land also for archaeological and um, ethnographic tours, I think. There's supposed to be whales out there. Hey, whales, where are you? The museum in Valley Ferreter was built in 1875 and, and today it's a museum. 
I love the posters. This is a, the Yungle Peninsula is a bastion of Irish-speaking people. And in the summertime, many young lads and lasses come here to learn Irish. And outside, they have a nice selection of four different walks for people in Valley Ferreter to attempt. I think we're going to go down the Slee on Ferreter something, something, something. So we've got a flock here that have already been sheared. Stop eating and bob back, silly sheep. They're too busy eating. Last style for the day. We hope. We hope. They're slippery, narrow, and wet. And my boots are sopping. Ugh. And you have to go back down it on the other side. Ew. Ew. We made it to our B&B for tonight just as the rain is starting to come in once again. Just drizzled on us today. Our suitcases are here, I think. Oh. Good morning, Pilgrim. And I'm saying that because today we are on the Pilgrim's Path over the lower flank of Mount Brandon. It's going to be up and over, following a line of telegraph poles, or electrical poles, all the way up and then down into Clohan. The official Dingle route across Mount Brandon is very high and very steep, not for us. Come with us while we climb up and over. We follow that line up and up and up and up it up and over the pass, but it was so darn windy up there, I couldn't video anything. Sheep coming down way back there, and we're on our way downhill. I think that's all cotton grass, but it's nothing like the big fluffy cotton grasses that we saw in Greenland and in Iceland. Three lakes down there and houses. I, as I understand, the houses are all deserted now. Come back, sheep. Ah. We've got three sheep that somehow managed to get over the fence. And they keep calling to each other. Going down there keeps calling. Bah. Go ahead, call it. <laughs> Not going to hurt you. Go ahead, woolly sheep. Well, He's in trouble. Since we've been walking for well over three miles, I'm trying to occupy myself, get my mind off my pains and my backs and my feet by videoing some wildflowers. Wild roses, maybe they're the rose of trolley. I feel like Bilbo in Lord of the Rings. The road goes on and on and on. In this part of Ireland, they use the fuchsias, almost like uh, fences, hedgerows. They grow rampant. That's what we did, the Pilgrim's Route. And now we're going into Klohan. Three hours and 40 minutes worth of walking. A lot easier if you drive it. You can pick up all the sheep wool along the roads and on bushes, trees, make yourself a sweater. Castle Gregory is an actual little town with different services. 